people who say, well, we have to get rid of all plastics have never really looked around themselves in a hospital where plastic is everywhere. People who say that, well, all single-use plastic is bad, don't walk through their bathroom and look at all the single-use plastic they have in their own house. It, 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 it's a lack of perception, it's a lack of perspective that people have to understand how important the industry is and how much of it they use themselves. It's one thing to say that, well, you've given up your vehicle, you're not going to have an internal combustion engine vehicle anymore, and you're going to ride a bike to work every day and you know, how virtuous that makes you. But you're not thinking about the people who can't ride a bike to work, the folks who maintain the electrical system in a storm, the folks who, who build roads and build houses. And they can't carry their tools on the back of a bicycle. It's, it's a ludicrous thing that seems to come from the, the urban mindset of Canadians who have never lived anywhere other than a city. That's their natural habitat. And so they think that cities are the ideal place for human beings to live and we should have more mass transit to get around. And it works in the city, but it fails as soon as you leave the city. And if, you know, like, I, like my sister, for example, who's only ever lived in Toronto, wouldn't live anywhere else, that's the way she thinks. She doesn't venture outside. And a lot of these folks don't. And they wouldn't live in a small town, so they don't know that there are Canadians who load up the, the trailer with their dirt bikes and their ATVs to go out into the, into the backcountry to enjoy themselves every weekend. You can't do that, you know, towing your, your trailer on the back of a bicycle. So it's not very realistic to, to impose your urban values on people who are not the same as you.